Um, it's a long train journey to get here, I can tell you, made extra long by the fact that the only entertainment I had was a copy of Pick Me Up magazine that somebody had kindly left on my seat. Now, I personally have never read Pick Me Up before, I don't know if you have. I knew it was a woman's magazine, assumed it would be full of women's articles, you know, like how to knit a tampon or something. No. Um, turns out it is, in fact, the magazine equivalent of the Circus Freak Show. Um, personally, not sure how they find the people for those articles. I personally have never met a woman who has eaten her own face, but I have read an article now entitled Face Eater, right? And there are pictures and everything before, during, after. And you might think, why, why would you take photos of that? You know, it's disgusting. But I've thought about this, I had the time. Um, if I overcame the physical impossibility of eating my own face, I would want pictures to show people because that's actually quite impressive. You know, if you're at a dinner party with your friends and talking about their gap peers or whatever, you know, oh, I was walking in the Himalayas, that's nothing. I went to Borneo to teach sign language to orangutans. Once, I ate my own face. Not particularly religious, but the one person I do worship is my nan. Uh, she's 86. <laughs> she's 86, bless her. Uh, for her 86th birthday, we genuinely bought her a Nintendo DS. Um, <laughs> Somewhat inappropriate present for an 86 year old, you might think. Uh, the touch screen did nearly blow her mind. But uh, no, she's, she's got the hang of it now. Uh, I can't explain to you how frustrating it is to explain to an 86 year old woman how to use a Nintendo DS over the phone, right? It's like trying to explain to a nervous colorblind man how to defuse a bomb. There are pitfalls. Uh, she spent the first few months um, programming the clock, uh, not the game, but was quite happy. She can do digital now, it's fine. Um, but no, no, she, she, she's got the hang of it quite well. For Christmas, we, uh, we decided to test her a bit. Uh, we bought um, Scrabble for her. But I can tell you, there's nothing, you know, it tells you that there's something wrong with the world, and on Christmas Day, you're unwrapping woolen jumpers. Your nan, who's 86, is unwrapping Game Boy games. It should never work that way around. Um, <laughs>